So I, I guess what I'll do is I'll just tell a little bit about my story. I am not a trained business person, so I can't claim to be an expert. I went to, uh, I went to uh, Brown University. I graduated with a uh, major in American history. I ended up moving to Nantucket when I graduated from college. My friend at Brown had moved to Nantucket and the two of us started a floating store on the water. Um, so basically what you had on Nantucket was a lot of wealthy people who came over on their very expensive boats and they stayed in the harbor and we brought stuff to them so that they didn't have to come to shore. So we brought donuts and coffee and muffins in the morning and the New York Times. Uh, we picked up their trash and we actually pumped sewage out of the boat and we did this all from the same boat which uh, the Board of Health would have loved if they had known about. Um, and we called the business All Serve and it truly was All Serve. We would do anything for anyone within reason as long as you paid us money. But the key was we always took the job no matter what it was, and we were always able to do it. We loved getting up every morning. We really did. I mean, every day was different. And we weren't business guys, but we loved this lifestyle. It was something new every day, and all we did was we tried to make sure that at the end of the day there was more money in the cash box. We had a little metal cash box than there was in the beginning of the day. I had been in Spain my senior year of college at Brown. My girlfriend was over there. And she introduced me to this peach juice that was unbelievable. And I just thought, there's nothing like juices like this in America. I said to Tommy, I was like, what if we made juices and sold them off our boat in the morning on the harbor, and then maybe we could sell them to some stores? And shockingly enough, Tommy said, that's a great idea. <laughs> we should do that. We joked. We're like, we'll call it Nantucket Nectars. And I mean, truly, that was how the company was named. We lived on Nantucket. They were nectars that I tasted in Spain. Voila. I think great marketing is all about great product. Complicated, hard marketing is all about a bad product. So you can have the most brilliant marketing in the world, hire marketing firms and geniuses and be clever and funny and smart. If your product sucks, it just doesn't matter, I think. I have spoken to so many entrepreneurs or hopeful entrepreneurs over the last 15 years. And I think the biggest difference is that certain people go and do it and other people just don't. And my feeling is starting a business is like hiking up a mountain. And you know, when you're at the bottom and you're going for that hike, you're like, you can't see anything and it's a little bit imposing. And then if you start a business, you just get going and you start on that climb up and you get a little ways up and you kind of look behind you like, oh wow, that's where I parked the car and I can see that a little bit now, but I, wow, there's still a lot to go. And then of course on the way up, there's a lot of different forks and you might choose one or the other. But the further you get up, the more perspective you have down and it's seemingly the more willing you are to go up. Some people just never stop, start walking. And that's truly how I see entrepreneurship. For whatever reason, Tommy and I said, let's go. We're going for a walk up the hill.